Marijuana could soon be reclassified in America, an action that would make it a less dangerous drug in the eyes of the federal government. Stephanie Rodriguez explains what this means and how Wisconsin lawmakers are reacting. For more than 50 years, marijuana has been a Schedule I drug in the same category as methamphetamine and ecstasy. Now, the Biden administration's push to make it a Schedule III drug could change the way the U.S. prosecutes pot possession. It's torn apart communities and impacted countless families right here and again across the entire state. Milwaukee Mayor Cavalier Johnson said Friday that felony charges related to marijuana have long impacted black and brown people, and changing the drug's classification would bring marijuana policy into the 21st century. I can tell you that it will go a long way to make sure that those folks, those people who are who, who make up the diversity in this city have a better pathway forward. And quite frankly, it's something that we should have done a long time ago. Far too many lives have been upended because of failed approach to marijuana. President Joe Biden announced the step Thursday, saying it will help reverse long-standing inequities as it would lower the restrictions and penalties faced by those who use pot. No one should be in jail for just using marijuana or possessing marijuana. Democratic state lawmakers applauded the move and hope it helps get the wheels turning for reform in Wisconsin, an island when it comes to marijuana legalization. We aren't just losing tax dollars, taxable dollars to our neighboring states. We're, in Wisconsin, we're still spending money to incarcerate folks for possession and, and using this product. So not only are we losing money, we're, we're wasting money too. The new classification, a Schedule Three drug, is defined by the DEA as having a moderate to low potential for physical and psychological dependence. This isn't set in stone yet. There still needs to be a 60-day public comment period before the rule is potentially finalized. In Milwaukee, Stephanie Rodriguez, CBS 58 News.